morning. I'm watching the numbers. Make sure that I don't go through all this and have to do it over again. I got, I got a couple of things in the mail today. I um, it's supposed to be hot today. It's supposed to be up to 90. Tomorrow is post office day. I've got a cup. has a little thing here that I could just twist. Oh, but I didn't do it. And I'm, I'm not reading her this morning. Let's see what this is. Oh. Oh, wait. Dear Billy, this is the first time I've ever made a granny square. Thanks for letting me contribute to such a great cause and learning something new at the same time. Your crochet sister, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Oh, Tracy, let's see what you've made. Oh, look at this you made, too. Honey, you did great. Look at that. Isn't that great, you guys? She made two. Oh, Tracy, you did a great job. You really did. You did a nice job. They're perfect. So we'll add that to our, our, to our box of... Uh, Granny, Tracy, you did a great job. You really did. And I love the color. Everything. It's perfect. Oh, Tracy, you did good, honey. Crochet sister, you did so good. See, it's always good to learn something new. I learn something new every day and have for all my old life. This is so nice. I love these. Then we got a package from... Gail in Ohio. Let's see if there's an easy way to do this. There's a little rip there. Um, let's see. Let me get my other. Somebody's at the freaking door. I just have to let it. Just let them knock. All right, I'm going to try to do this. Hold on. I think I did it right this time. <laughs> I did it right this time. It was my neighbor's, um, Pat from down the hall. She gets all these nutritious dinners delivered to her, and they're too much for her. I mean, our freezers are really small, so she just, she gives it away. So my freezer is packed with meals, so I'm so excited. Okay, we have, alrighty, okay, this is from Gail from Ohio, here are a few squares, add to the brother-in-law's uh, blanket, also add a few balls of yarn for your damn it dolls, oh isn't that sweet, I'm a yarnaholic, been crochet knitting most of my life, I just can't sit still and need to have something going all the time. Lots of laugh. It's like a, a addiction for most of us. Isn't that the truth? I can't sit still without doing something in my hands. I heard about you from Katrina Knit's podcast. Ah, don't know if you ever heard of her, but she gave you a shout out when you started podcasting. She uploads a how to do did. She uploads a how to do video on Wednesdays, and she podcasts on Saturdays. We really like her style. If you get a chance, check her out. Think she's in Pennsylvania. Katrina Knits Podcast. I am going to check her out. Thank you, Gail. That is really nice. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up on all this technology. I know you must get frustrated, but not many people in their 70s would even begin to do a podcast. You're doing a fantastic job. If you ever have any questions or need help, you may email me. Feel free to do so. I'm going to try and stay away for live with Billy. Love listening to everyone. I will try and ch chime in this week. God bless and have a great day, Gail. P.S. Lots of laughs. LOL. Yes, that is my last name. No joke. You know what her last name is? <laughs> I bet you could, couldn't guess in a million years. Her name is Surprise. Gail Surprise. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to keep this right here. Thank you, Gail. That is so sweet. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we got some squares. Ooh, she sent a lot. Ooh. Oh, and some stuff for the doll. Oh, I could use that. 
Thank you. Okay, we got some. Ooh, look at this one. This one is, it's brown and black and beige. Wait a minute, let's see if you can see the color better on this side. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Nice square. See, that's all it has to be. Is, ooh, and this is, I know what, what is the stitch? Basket weave, isn't it? Basket weave stitch, isn't that pretty? Very nice. It's sort of different shades, variegated shades of gray. Very nice. Ooh, and look at this one. Ooh, I like this one too. And this is in the blues. A couple shades of blue, variegated shades. Very nice. Oh, and another one. Oh, ooh, I love the stitch. Front post, back I used to make scarves with this stitch because I love front post, back post. And that's this one. Isn't that pretty? You see this? Isn't that pretty? Very nice. And she sent me some... Uh, I use these like for the eyes and mouth and stuff. So thank you so much. This is going to go into my little drawer down here where I keep those little things. Oh my God, girl. Wouldn't you just... Oh my God. This is like... You know, teal is my favorite color. Turquoise. Oh, I thought that was... Look at this. Caron Cakes. And this is... The colorway is... Fairy cake. Fairy cake. Oh my gosh. It has 338 yards and it's a four. But look at the colorway, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh, it's beautiful. Half of my closet is full of teal. Teal and turquoise. Oh, she sent me two. I'm not going to use this on the dolls. I'm going to use this on me, Gail. Look at this. Wrap this around. Okay, I'm done. So it's two. two well, it is two of the same, I'm sure. Let me see. Yeah, fairy cake. Isn't that pretty? All right. I love it. Oh, it's so soft and squishy. I love it. Thank you, Gail. That is so sweet. Go ahead. Can you imagine what you can make with this? I mean, this is a lot of, um, this is a lot of yarn. I even like the, is this a, uh, oh, it's a knit, it's a knit pattern. Ah, uh, well, I guess someday I'm going to have to get the, um, um, you know, knit needles in the round. I have just straight, straight knit, knit, knit needles. I'll have to get some and um, try this. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, let me put these over here. Excuse me, I didn't mean to go out like that. I think I'm going to have to move to a different room <laughs> to televise because I can't. Um, this room is just a mess. I don't know where anything is. Um, I haven't done a daggone thing since yesterday, so I did, you know that new pretty yarn I got while I started a doll, a doll with, you can't see the green, it's pretty, it's like, it's like oh, neon green, it's really beautiful, but, um, yeah, I started a new doll, and, uh, I've got plans for her, but, uh, that's that's really all I got. I finished that part, this part of it last night. Um, I'm going to the mailbox tomorrow. I've been waiting for um, some emails for a couple more packages here that I got ready that I need info on so that I can ship them out tomorrow. Because tomorrow's tomorrow is when the guy from overseas is there that does the overseas packaging. So I'm going to do that. Mm. Remember yesterday I showed you that um, that tumbler that I got that was from um, the Turbo 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 Tumblers. Well, the, their manufacturers right down the street, and I went with this. I've had this for a hundred years. You see, it's got little flip flops on it. That's my little cup, and it's got flip flops on it. 
and it, it's it actually that is inside there because I've had one that came apart and had to take them back down there, and they they'll re re adhere it to. But it was like this is made out of cloth inside there. It's like, but yeah, oh yeah, I use these all the time. They're great. You can use them for hot and cold. Stick them in the microwave, dishwasher, whatever you want. But I'm drinking my um, peach mango crystal light. <sighs> I've got to drink water. i got to have a taste to it. Oh, these, these are very nice. Thank you so much. And, and Tracy, you did a great job on these, honey. You did a great job. Great, great job. So uh, these are going to go into the box. And really, that's all I got done yesterday. I have, um, I've been doing a lot of administration work. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. I put out some, um, some shout outs to a bunch of places for the hat. I did, um, one of our kind subbies sent me a list of charity places. And I put, um, I put a shout out to, um, I mean, email out to Appalachian something Appalachian organization they they are collecting clothes and hats and stuff for the kids and people that were affected by the floods and stuff but and I got a response back and they would love to stuff they were so excited they would love to have some hats and scarves or whatever that we have so I'm going to email them back and tell them that we uh we're gonna I I've got this uh big a big box here and I thought I would load up a big box and uh, ship it off to them if that's agreeable with all of you crafters out there because the rate that our uh, we're going to have plenty for the kids and these are for kids that, and I told them it's from kindergarten to 12th grade and that we might have a few adult hats also so um, I'm going to um, respond back to her and see if they want them. She does. I'll pack them up. All I need is their, that they have a warehouse that you can ship them to. So I will do that. Um, I'll ask her to maybe send us a, a photo or something so that we can uh, put it on for everybody to see. So yeah, so we, we've, we've got that far the the one for the schools, I haven't heard back from them. And then I remembered that this week is a lot of the schools are out up north uh, due to the spring break, you know, with Easter coming and everything. So um, I pro I'm going to, I, I don't expect to hear from anybody until um, next week. But I'm still, I just wanted to get some fillers out and get that done. Um, let's see, what else? I got to work on my pattern. A um, couple testers have sent me some stuff. Some of it I've already, we've already, uh, Deb and um, Deb and Karen and I have already taken care of. And so I want to get that finalized and then get my logo on and then the pattern should be ready. And I'm going to do the pattern through a different um, Gmail account, a Gmail account that I have. That I've never used and so I thought I'd do that because it'll be easier to keep them separated from the dolls and the cozies and um, all that stuff and I can uh, you know just zap you the PDF file and that should be the and that should work out fine so that's it really I haven't done anything this morning so just been watching the news and things that are going on politically and stuff like that. Yeah, I keep up on it every day. Have been for two and a half years. Yep, every day. M MSNBC or CNN. Yep, yep, that's me. Um, Jada's coming out with the next um, next piece for our folk bl uh, blanket. And she gave a hint on her thing, and I think it's a tree. So she said, greens and shades of brown. No doubt in my mind, it's a tree. So we're probably doing a tree under the sun somewhere. And she does it, she said she does, she uh, puts it out every four weeks. So that we, um, 
you know, it's that's slow going, isn't it? I have done nothing with those other squares. I did one and a half, and I haven't finished the second one yet for the mitten cowl or whatever it is. I haven't really caught up on that. I've got a lot of orders I need to get out, so I want to um, to work on those. I like I like getting them, you know, you know that get them done while well, my juices. It, 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 Seems the more I do, the more my juices come out, my more creative juices come out, and I'm able to to do something with the. I've got a an order for another full beard and long hair <laughs> from Australia, so I've got to do that. And let's see what else. Oh, da, 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 da. oh I did. I've got some um, acquisitions coming. I took the money from my PayPal, and I bought some more. You won't believe this. I went on Joann's last night. All the material that I bought Saturday is 50% off. Now, can you believe that? That just ticked me off when I saw it. But they have the, the cats on the beach. So I went ahead and got uh, about four yards of that, and it was half price. I mean, I couldn't pass it up. It was like three ninety nine, four dollars $4.00 compared to the $9.99 or whatever it was before. Oh, I couldn't believe it. So I got um, one, two, I think I got two more pat fabric because they were all 50% off. I couldn't pass that off. And I wanted to tell you guys, the Yarn Inspiration um, Mystery Bags, the pound of um, a $3.99 this morning. So I got like five of them, mystery, because they're great for, for doing the damn it dolls and, and all the other stuff, you know. So I went ahead and got five mystery bags. So I got that. I got the Joann's. Yeah, I did shopping last night, and I didn't wear myself out either. My fingers hurt a little bit from working on the computer, but otherwise, no. So, yeah, so I got the Joann's order coming, and then I have the... Uh, yarn inspiration order, I think. I hope I didn't screw that up. I have to. I have to look on yarn inspiration to see if the order is still there. But yes, yeah, three ninety nine for the mystery mystery bags. So God only knows what we're going to get for three ninety nine. But let's just see what happens. Let's see what else did I discover. Um, Some of their Caron uh, Simply Soft was on sale, too, for $2 and something. So you might want to go on Yarn Inspiration because they did have some good sales there and stuff that we all use. So check that out. Might be a color there that you like um, that you've been looking for that you can get on sale for $2 and something. And let's see. I really can't think of anything else except I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to work on my orders today so I can get as much done so I can get them out tomorrow so I can let people know so that they can pay for them and then I can put them in, get their um, mailing address and we could get them in the mail tomorrow. So that's about all that's going on. Today I'm paying bills, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, you wouldn't believe the laundry in my bedroom. It's, I, I'm beginning to look like a hoarder. <laughs> between the yarn and the laundry <laughs> and I got a basket full of bags to go out to the post office tomorrow so I I really do want to get as much out tomorrow that I can um, that's why I want to get a bunch of stuff made and I'm waiting to get the money for the you know for the biker and stuff so I can get that out in the mail I also got another package over there that I've been waiting for payment, and I get I like to get that out in the mail. Um, I got another one. I don't know, but I'm sure that I bought a lot of bubble bubble bags the other day at the post office. In fact, I think I took all that they had. They probably won't have any when I go back. I'm just looking around to see if there was something else that maybe was on my mind. You know, and when I I think that. I love this card. I just love it. I just 
love it. Yes. I might just glue it up here on the side. I don't know. But it's going to be a hot day here in Florida. And I'm going to crochet. And I need to clean up a few things. But I want to get the crocheting done. And then I'll have the weekend to do the laundry and, uh, and some other stuff. I just... Um, Still a little tired from my little trip on Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, things like that really take a lot out of me. I guess it's the fibro and the chronic fatigue. I do something and it just, it just wipes me out for days. I was in bed early last night for me. It was like 12, 1230 I went to bed. And you know who was right there, all cuddled up next to me. And he didn't whine last night because I guess I didn't stay up as late as he wanted me to. <laughs> He's sleeping, I think. Maybe. Sun's shining. So that's about it, guys. I um, Next week, my plans are to start on our cow. I like to get the, um, the first one filmed. Um, so we'll have that as a starting point. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get the first one. I like to get that film next week. And, and that's about it. I don't have anything else to update. Um, maybe the neighbors will stay away, huh? Still, still ticking away. Still ticking away. I saw Z today. She's, uh, she looks much better. She's getting help. Um. She, uh, she's so funny. She's, she's a good girl. She really is. She just needs to talk to somebody and, um, uh, and I think they might advise her to get to, um, and I don't know what the situation is, but she really, I know she doesn't have support and she doesn't like who she's living with. So I think it's something that she's going to have to either adjust to and accept or get out of it me i would get out of it but that's just me i don't like negativity of any kind i just don't i don't need, i don't see it takes more energy to be negative all the time than it does to be positive you know it just it just does it takes more muscles to, to frown than it does to smile did you know that i knew that I heard that somewhere, but it does, and it just, you know, be kind, be nice to each other, that's all there is, it's, and especially if you're a mother, I mean, it just, I'm sure there's circumstances that we don't know, but it doesn't hurt to be kind, that's all there is to it, right? Just never know, like my mother used to say, you never know what's what's going on behind closed doors. And that's true, you really don't. Well, I'm going to say adieu for today. And tomorrow is Live with Billy at 10. Um, I'm going to try to put out a little thing on the jiggum to remind people because people forget. But um, we got work to do. We do our little talk and... We work things out and what we want to do next and so on and so forth and all the things that they suggest and and I'm sitting here looking at my new yarn and I just love it and I'm thinking about I'm looking at this one color and I said well if I make the doll this color I could use that color <laughs> is that crazy or what you know my mind is just going a mile a minute so I, I don't know. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And I appreciate all of you. And Cheryl, did you see the frog she made me? Oh my God. It's beautiful. Wait till she, what, she's supposed to mail it today or tomorrow, I think. So if when I get it, I'll let y'all see it. No touchy. You can't touch it now. But you can look at it. Because it's mine. Forever and ever. Yeah, my, my place is starting to look like um, a yarn store. 
of the yarn shop. I've got finished projects hanging off of the, the doors and the things, and I'm thinking about how I'm going to, I need to get some, um, like, something to put the yarn in to put on the shelves, you know, so that I can see what I have, that you can lay them side, you know what I mean, little cubbies or something like that. So, next time I go to Walmart or a container store of some kind, I'll get something. Um, I've never been a real uh, big cake person because, well, you know, I didn't, the only yarn I really bought was at Walmart until you guys came along. And now I've got all these cakes and I need a way to display them so I know what I have. I mean, I, I'm getting tired of going through the totes every time to try to remember what yarn is in them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. But I'm not a yarn holic. I don't buy a lot of yarn, but you guys have been sending me so much yarn and it's really helped with the dolls and everything. I mean, just everything. And uh, it all started with Amanda with that yarn swap when she sent me all that DK yarn, which I had never used before. And I made those, um, in fact, I still have them, is the, um, those boomerang scarves. And I love making those. Those were nice with that DK yarn. They look pretty. And um, I just, I just loved making them. And I, I want to get making some other things too. I want to get this, I want to work on uh, getting, maybe I'll get it done this weekend, is that top that I've been working on with the cotton yarn. So hopefully, because it's four panels, two for the front and two for the back. And then it'll have like little spaghetti straps going across. And it's just slow, you know, it's just flow. It's just a nice, cute little summer top. And um, so I want to uh, get that done. So we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Okay, you guys, have a great day. Uh, anything important happens, I'll come on and let you know. But I think today is going to be quiet and uh, crocheting, watching the watching the news, and um, tomorrow the packages that go out, and if you, Leah, uh, Leah, your package will go out tomorrow, I believe, um, to Australia, and uh, the other packages that I have, everybody will get in their dolls and stuff, cozies and project bags and all that good stuff. So if anybody wants a project bag out of the uh, the cat on the beach, let me know um, so that I can plan for the material. I don't want to make too many cozies if somebody would like a project bag out of that. Or the other, I'm trying to, oh, I know what it is. The other material I got is pink flamingos with a pink, pink lining. I thought, you know, I'm a crafty Floridian. I think it's time for me to do stuff that's related to Florida in my my environment, right? Pink flamingos, cats on the beach. There was some other yarn, I mean, some other fabric, but I just want to take it real slow. I didn't want to go boom, you know. I might have gotten another one, but I don't remember what it was. I don't know because I got double the the yellow lining. Well, we'll see. It'll be a surprise to both of us. <laughs> and I just ordered it last night. Jesus, my mind is crazy. Okay, guys, have a great day. Um, you know, whistle while you work. Whistle while you work. Keep hooking. And I will talk to you if anything exciting happens. But don't forget, Yarn Inspirations, $3.99 for the um, mystery bag. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day. And I hope I hit the right button. And it's been recording. Yay, I made it through without it screwing up. So I better get off before it goes bonkers. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye.